This video is brought to you by Triple Sleeve TCG. Check out their website at triplesleevetcg.com. Hi, welcome back to Nexus Core. It's Richard, and uh, I like knights, so I built Shadow Paladins because, you know, that, that's my thing. And so, you know, since Keter Sanctuary is just going to be all of the nations put together, I just figure I should invest in some Shadow Paladin support too, you know, for premium just in case. But I only play Paladin decks, so I'm, I figured it was my time. Plus, Miles sucks at Shadow Paladin, so someone's got to be good with it, you know? I just suck in general. <laughs> uh, our starter, um, I ran out of full bows, but this would have been full bow if I had it. Um, but it's uh, Crisis Revenger Fritz. Uh, he's going through a crisis. Climate crisis. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, he doesn't let you get um, a quick shield, which is why full bow is better. But, you know, it's all right. Um, it hurts, Richard. <laughs> Stop it. Uh, I'm running four copies of Illusionary F Revenger Mordric Phantom in my Shadow Paladin deck. Um, its first skill is Vanguard Circle when your your Blaster Dark because this is my deck. When your Blaster Dark is placed on Rearguard Circle, you get a Force Gift. Um, and when it attacks, you counter blast. If your opponent's at Grade Three, you counter blast one. You stand all your Blaster Darks, and they get 10k. So. You just get a bunch of force markers, multi-attacking, really, really good. Better than that uh, bad Luard deck, you know? Uh, so, I'm running two copies of Phantom Blaster Overlord. So we got Overlord support in this deck too, which is cool. Um, during your turn, if you have a Phantom Blaster Dragon in the soul, this gets 10k and its original crit becomes two. Um, it would be cool if it was during your opponent's turn too, but you know, that we don't... Bushy just doesn't like people to have fun. Um, the second skill is when it attacks, you counter blast one. You retire as many rear guards as you want. Your opponent has to retire the same. And then you search your deck for a blaster, and it gets 10k. So there's more multi-attacking. Not as good as Mordred, but um, we are running the superior ride in this deck. So if you don't have Mordred, you can just go into uh, Phantom Blaster as like an alternative option. Also, it's board control. You know, so might as well. Uh, one copy of the Phantom Blaster Dragon because it doesn't really do anything else other than Superior Ride, so we just run it at one. Um, I would have wanted to get two, but um, I couldn't find a second one. I don't know where it went uh, because this is my deck and I, I own these cards, but I couldn't find a second one um, because it would be good to have multiple copies uh, just to search out with Phantom Blaster Dragon in case you want to search out another one to bid as a beat stick, but uh, one copy's fine for Superior Ride. What it does, if you want to know, is Van, uh, act, kind of last one, you uh, retire three rear guards, and your opponent retires how many? Three of their units too, and this gets 15k in a crit. The other skill is, once per turn act, if your opponent has no rear guards, you can Soul Blast to grade three, Yes, and you deal a damage to your opponent. Um, seems cool on paper, but this was only cool back in like 2018? Is that when Standard came out? It literally was never cool. That card always was shit. It was cool. No. Uh, one Danger Lunge, because Danger Lunge's cool. Uh, Van, when it's placed, Soul Blast 1, you add a grade 2 from your drop zone to your hand. So if you rode on top of Blaster Dark, you Soul Blast the Blaster Dark, and you add it back to your hand. Um, when it attacks, uh, you Soul Blast, uh, a grade three, right? Oh, you have to have three or more markers, which is pretty easy to do. If you have three Force Markers, you Soul Blast, uh, a grade three, and this gets 10k and a crit, and your opponent can't use Sentinels when it attacks, so... Game Ender puts pressure, Danger on good card. Uh, next up, four copies of Blaster Dark. This is the, the SIG copy that I paid for, because, you know, I just have money. Um, Blaster Dark's first skill is Vanner Rear. When it's placed, you plus one. Your opponent chooses a rear guard and retires it. Um, decent skill. Uh, the second skill is what revolutionized Vanguard. It's once per turn. Um, if your opponent has no rear guards, you discard a card, and this gets twin drive. So, like, you could basically double crit and just push your opponent to a lot of damage, which is, like pretty pretty consistent in terms of how that is because obviously I'm going to double crit every time I use this skill. But I'm most likely not even going to sit on that because the whole point is it's to so go into... You, exactly. 
Uh, you're supposed to superior ride into PBO with the, or PBD with Bindi skill, so you're most likely not going to be revolutionizing people, but it's there just in case. Hold up, I just dropped all my cards. What if that becomes a new keyword for Shadow Paladin? Revolutionize? Yeah, no, but we already have um, Revelation, or whatever it's that's called. That's true, but like, that's not what I'm saying. That's fair. That's not what I said. That's not what I said, Richard, stop it. So uh, you basically need Blaster Dark, so this deck literally does not work. Uh, three copies of Leofail. Um, Wizards are cool. Uh, I just started watching The Hobbit for the first time, so that's been fun. Uh, when plays, kind of plus one, you search for a grade one to a call to an open rear, so you search Nemin and Nemin turbos your deck. Yay! And it works when it's on Van, in case you don't ride Blaster Dark. One Masquerade. Uh, Leofail's better, and Masquerade still searches stuff, but you can ride it and search for Blaster Dark or Mordred, so if you don't have Mordred, just ride this, and then you can get Mordred. You can also work when you call it. Uh, but if you call it on rear, and you have a rear guard, you have to retire a rear guard. So if it's the only rear guard, you have to retire itself. So that's a neg. Um, so you can't say that word. God, Jose. Um, other skill is uh, during your turn, when is this when it attacks the Vanguard? Yeah, when this attacks the Vanguard, it gets 3k, so it hits those 13 numbers. I guess it's okay. It's good for, like, if you want to poke and then go into Phantom Blaster Overlord and call something over it for an extra attack. Uh, well, Curse Lancer, because uh, countercharging. Uh, when you place it, if you have you Soul Blast 1, it gets 10k. If you have no face of damage, you countercharge. Just the one copy, because um, it only works when you have all face down damage, so it's probably not going to happen as consistently as you want to. And then space. Two copies of this thing. Uh, Dump Truck Hood Dragon. Uh, it's a 5k, so it means you can search it with Nemin, which is really cool. Uh, continuous. Uh, it's a gets 5k, so it becomes a 10k grade 2. Uh, other skills. Act Soul Blast 1. Retire this. Search your deck for Blast of Dark. Put it in your hand. So, consistency. You just go into Nemin, search this out. Soul Blast, retire it, search Blast of Dark, and then you get your Force Marker. So that was it for grade 1s. We got Transient Revenger Masquerade. Um, it's Act once per turn. Or sorry, I was say once per turn. Act. <laughs> Counter Blast. Put it to Soul. You add a Blaster Dark from your drop to your rear, and then uh, the called unit gets uh, 5k, right? Yeah. So the called Blaster Dark gets 5k, and then the other skill is when it boosts, it gets 3k. So 11k booster is nice. Good card. Recycles. Um, most likely ride target because 8k versus 5k grade one but can't always get what you want with shadow paladin um four copies of this card um i think it's good but i'm not sure i mean i did build this deck trust me but um but i i, I don't know it's it's a uh, act rest this unit search for a unit with 5k power um call it and you can only use this uh, card ability per name once per turn. I think you're just supposed to retire it. Like, like it's just, you just get rid of it. Like, it's just fodder, you know? Uh, two copies of Bindi. Um, act, if your Vanguard is Blaster Dark, you Soul Blast 1, retire this. Search your deck for Phantom Blaster Dragon, write it, uh, and your Vanguard cannot use act abilities. So, again, Phantom Blaster Dragon really does nothing in this deck. Two copies of Abyssal Owl. It's a better Blackwing Swordbreaker. Um, so if your opponent and you have the same Vanguard grade, you can Soul Blast instead. And the skill is Counter Blast 1 Draw. So search it out, draw a card, throw it down, draw a card, throw it down, Soul Blast, draw a card. It's just resources. You're just going to retire it for Phantom Blaster Dragon or Overlord or whatever. That was it for the main deck. Now we got crits because uh, you can't run fronts in this deck because it's bad. Um, crits are cool. I would prefer to have had the Trumpeter one, but uh, I couldn't find any. Anyways. Yeah. Should have been Grim Reaper instead of Grim Revenger. That's just my personal opinion. Alright. My clear. Draw Trigger PGs. Draw, draw Trigger PGs are good. I'm sad that they're not going to be in D-Series. Uh, Abyss Revenger. That's the heal. Healer. Yeah, it's a healer. Abyss I mean, healer. 
It's a healer, yeah. So it's, it's not a Revenger. Well, then... What was it called? Why is it in the Revenger deck, Miles? It's not a Revenger deck. So, um... It's a blaster. Basically, the whole point of the deck is you have two options. Option A... Ride Blaster Dark. Call Nemen. Nemen gets Bindi. Bindi gets you... Dragon. Option two... Is... Leofail. Leofail gets you... Nemen. Nemen gets you... Dump Truck. Dump Truck gets you... Uh, the Black Swordsman, and then uh, you just go into Mordred and then call this and get a Force Marker. Um, also fill a board. That is a thing that you did, but you do lose this, so basically you only end up getting this. But hey, Nemen's cool to use for the rest of the game. Why not? Um, yeah, this deck's fun. It seems like there's a lot of options going on here. I mean, I would know that because I built the deck. Um, so... Thank it's you my guys. Deck, if anyone hasn't. Thank you guys for yet. watching my deck profile for the deck that I built. Um, I am the only Paladin player on this channel <laughs> um, because Miles decided that he's going to be building um, Dragon Empire and, and Dark State, so he lost all of his uh, Paladin I privileges. Did, I did decide that. He did. Um, I'm so gonna build whatever the fuck I thank want. Thank you guys so much for watching my Mordred deck. I hope to get some games on the channel on this soon. And uh, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.